It's the amazing thing about being right here right now, because I'm surrounded by what seems to be the year of fun. It's gonna have a lot of different layers to it. There's a few different ways that like you can create an idea with something like this. And you can kind of like know the, the different parts that you want to use and the different cables and structures of data that you're gonna have to use. And, and you kind of take it from sort of the finish line to the beginning. You kind of write it backwards. It's a completely interactive piece. And so that when someone swings, particles sort of explode. And there's also a soundscape that goes with it. So as you swing back and forth on the swings, uh, different notes will play depending on how high you swung on it. It's an augmented reality piece, which means that we can actually see the surroundings and see the people here. And then on top of that is an extra virtual layer of our computer graphic fish. So you can direct the fish and get them to follow you. But the more you do that, the more you intervene in the natural order of things, the more they'll turn into plastic garbage. We're working on another interactive projection with this time a depth sensor. So we have a projection that we're utilizing on the right half of the lake and the left half of the lake. And what it's doing is kind of mimicking the right and left half of the brain. We've been affected by the constant intake of media and information. You know, we have short attention spans and repetitive thoughts and chemicals released in our brain every time we get a notification sound. It's a chance to just be curious, just continue be interested in the world instead of just walking straight through it and just trying to get through it, period. <laughs>